there, like, there's no argument for him not resigning. He's clearly fucking insane. Not only is he not resigned, he won't even withdraw. He won't even withdraw. No. Like, he's, do you know he's under investigation for an alleged $500,000 in campaign finance uh, violations? Oh, actually, no, I did not. <laughs> like, yeah, he's insane. Okay, so after their failed daycare went bankrupt, their child endangering daycare went bankrupt. Yeah, of course. Apparently, his wife his wife made a non-profit. It helps, like, daycare facilities, uh, presumably better ones. They owe the state $132,000. The records show that Hill gave herself a $28,000 raise in 2020, almost the exact amount of her first PPP loan. <laughs> what I did right, that ass was wet slick. Good and pissy. <laughs> do you think he meant pussy or did he actually mean pissy? I have to hope, right? He was pumping the dookie shoot good and she got a long arm stream of piss up in the air. That covered my chest and stomach. It was so fucking hot. She was coming, I was coming. She was pissing and I was covered in piss. Yeah. Well, some wild stuff came out about our, about our governor. Or uh, so, lieutenant governor, potential future governor. <laughs> I remember being at work and I saw the tweet drop where it was like, um, some article is coming out later today. So he was postponing a speech and I was like, oh God. Because like with this man, this is a man who, he has a history, man. And I, yep. saw, I was like, this is going to be some crazy shit. If he'll, He's got if he'll some stand history. on business. Yeah, he'll stand on business when it comes to like homophobia and like transphobia and like anti-semitism. So yep. what's something that he's not gonna stand on business about? <laughs> major, yeah, his major um porn scandal dropped today. Apparently, there was a porn site, Nude Africa. Um, <laughs> have you looked at the uh, Google Trends of it? I did, and I'd recommend. That doesn't surprise oh. me, but yeah, I went there. I, you have to make an account in order to like view shit, so I didn't. Whoa, do that, I didn't but... do that. I'll put it in well, your. Well, I, I just wanted here. to like view his comments. I didn't want to like. Um... There's the you didn't. Yeah, you weren't in, obviously you weren't. You were just watching porn for the plot. I understand what you're saying. Well, I mean the yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> no, I I didn't make an account because none of the. Unfortunately, I did not get to see his comments, but I did get to see. A lot of stuff I did not want to see, so. Oh yeah, that um, you didn't want to see. Oh, it must have been so horrible to see the the nude Africa. Well, it was not. Well, it's a lot of. It's mostly for fat black women, so it's not really my <laughs> type. It's, it was. It was more. It was not. It's not a. Oh, you weren't interested in that. No. <laughs> <laughs> so. My my man did not did not take any precautions when it came to like um you know trying to hide that it was him. Uh, he I used... actually do you know how they were able to connect it? Is it just the username or was there an email? That's what I was wondering. So there's a username, there is a email. Oh and yeah, that's I'll do yeah. it. Username, email, and it had his same birthday. I think it's like his same like age, like his same race, same location. <laughs> So, yeah, all these things clearly connected him. And they, they also, like, in his posts, he also used um, phrases very similar to phrases he uses in his Facebook posts that are not very common. For example, a frog's fat ass, which most people don't use. Don't give two shakes they both used. Um, so I can't repeat this one uh, because it has the F slayer in it. Um, of course. And then uh, Dunderhead. So it's pretty clear that this is him. <laughs> he um he had this account and he made comments on it between 2008 and 2012, <laughs> which you know is a decent amount of time ago. But importantly, it's it's after he supposedly reformed himself because earlier this year he was reported to have been uh, a frequent frequent user. Of a porn of a porn employee or a porn shop, of course. Employees reported that um, he had frequent in there between, like, from the early '90s to the 2000s. So, and then apparently he became more Christian and reformed himself. But this is this is after that he was still 
Still just as freaky as ever. Still on his freak game. This is cr yeah, it's crazy. I saw the, the the NAACP come out and literally be like, "Hey, man, you need to step down." Yeah, it's wild, dude. There's no this guy should resign. Okay, they, there's no argument for him not resigning. I don't want him to resign because it would, right now he has the Demo the Democrats have a higher chance of winning with him in the race. Oh so he yeah, should, he should insane. resign. There's no there's no. I I did more research on him today than I have before on like his old scandals as well. He should resign. He's you know he's under investigation for an alleged five hundred thousand dollars in campaign finance uh, violations. Oh, actually, no, I did not. <laughs> like yeah, he's insane. D d yeah, this guy this guy should resign. Also, I don't know. This came out today as well. He had an email registered with Ashley Madison, which is the dating site for yeah, people that's who crazy. want to cheat on their yeah. cheat on their wife. Yeah, yeah. So. This guy, this guy should resign. This guy, there, he's insane. I obviously I don't want him to because again, my man Josh Stein easy is, is easy. Yeah, <laughs> gonna get easy victory. victory here. Yep. And I also, so we, I think we both have looked at before his like dozens of comments where he's like, no abortion, no exceptions. He said it so many times on podcast and so many times like in interviews. You, yep. you've seen those, right? Yeah. And he's saying it's because women can't keep their skirts down. And then later, I think you've probably also seen this ad where he's like, you know, my wife and I had an abortion. You know, that's why I support this week's or the, our current 12 week abortion ban, because it allows for abortion for 12 weeks like they're him and his wife had. Right. Yeah. This is an abortion that he apologized for in the past. In 2022, he said that he made he said that he made the wrong decision when it came to this abortion. So he has flip flopped on that. Apparently, <laughs> you know, that's no longer the wrong decision, I guess. Yeah. And um, also he flip flopped again because in this ad, he's saying he supports a uh, the, our current like 12 week ban. But it, he later told Business Insider that he supports a heartbeat ban, which you can have a heartbeat at like six weeks. And like people sometimes people don't even know that they're pregnant until like six weeks. Right. So. <laughs> Yeah, that's um, interesting. I saw something that was like, do you know in every state where they put abortion on the ballot, like they've always gone for like the pro-choice option? Yep. The it's only, like the only, um, oops. The only states that have banned abortion have done it not by a ballot measure. It's just been by like the legislators declaring that it should be banned without any, without a vote on it. It's wild. Uh, yeah, you can have a heartbeat at like five to six weeks, which I think is like some people don't even know that they're pregnant until then. First sign of pregnancy, it's about two weeks after you conceived. Doesn't work. Isn't um is when can you test positive for pregnancy? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anything about women. I don't talk to those people. Oh, oh. Just yikes. like Mark Robinson, by the way, who has reiterated multiple times that men should lead and not women. So true. <laughs> yeah. Non fun. Uh, when are we gonna see you go on your red pill arc? I don't want to do that. <laughs> this is not. <laughs> it's not a super interesting conversation to me. We most people has, have seemed to move past that at this point. Maybe it'll. Yeah. I'm sure it'll come up again at some point. But. I just every time I open Twitter, I see Andrew Tate saying the N word, and it's like, bro, you cannot be it's that. Like, yeah. Like, it's, damn. No yeah. one cares about you anymore, huh? <laughs> yeah. Speaking of saying that, I don't think Mark Robertson oh, ever God. said the N-word, but he, um, I mean, he's black, I mean, so it would be. I was about to say, I was like, if yeah. he did, would you? <laughs> yeah, I mean, he has said, he repeatedly said the F-slur so many, so many times, apparently. <laughs> what do you think of um, the KKK sentence? That one was a, I literally like. Yep. I'm pause. not in the KKK. They don't let blacks join. If I was in the KKK, I would have called him Martin Lucifer. I can't. I'm not going to say the last word. Oh, you don't want to? Um, you don't want to finish it? You don't want to finish it? Martin Lucifer, something that I Twitch will not let me say. <laughs> I don't think you can. I would not risk it. Yeah, yeah. I would not risk it. Unironically, <laughs> slavery is not bad. Some people need to be slaves. I wish. I wish that they would bring it slavery back. I, I like would how certainly you, I buy like... a few. Like, I think it was crazy how he said, like, he typed that out. I wish they would bring it back and then input put in between it and back, parentheses, slavery, just so there was no yeah. misunderstanding. Yeah. And yeah, no, his, I was listening um, to it. 
I'm sure you saw that he apparently liked watching tra- what he called Yeah, that was really funny. Um, he point. said, yeah, no, he made a really, hey, listen, it was a pretty funny joke. I think he said, like, he enjoys it because it's, like, a, a way to take the man out but also <laughs> keep the man in. And I was like, I right, listen, I'm fucking with him. I was, I was like, I changed my whole opinion. This man's based. <laughs> yeah, you know what, um, yeah, you know what, um, made me think he's based on when it, when it was reported that he, um, was going to the porn shop, one of the employees said, I know he might have problems with gay people, but I don't think he has problems with lesbians. <laughs> <laughs> My man. <laughs> yep, so there's that. Um, apparently he likes that, despite having an obviously pretty anti-transgender stance where he said that he's going to arrest people for going in different bathrooms if you're a man on a friday night and then all of a sudden saturday you feel like a woman and you want to go into the woman's bathroom in the mall you will be arrested or whatever we got to do to you so that is a direct quote from him um yeah he's it, he's made so many like anti-gay and trans comments before i i and, didn't know he was so openly homophobic how is that oh, yeah. still it's crazy that that's just still a thing that can just be yep. open like i can not that I can understand. Okay, that's I'm gonna get misquoted if I say that. <laughs> I can like I can fathom people being transphobic in today's age. I genuinely am confused when I see popular figures be homophobic. I'm like, yeah. I feel like we're so I feel like we're so past this. Why are we still here? I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, you said marriage um marriage equality is wickedness. <laughs> it's wild. It's wild. Oh yeah, yeah, gays are what the cows leave behind, like <laughs> And maggots. JD, ooh, also, yeah, I don't know if I told you this. JD Vance was in my town like two days ago. Why? There was I, I, a really big football why, game. I guess campaigning, but oh. That, yeah, that too. But there was a really big football game, so we went to like a bar and talked to people. And then and the only reason I found out about it is because it was being talked about in my town Discord. And someone was like, ah, oh, damn, I was wondering why my uh, couch looked really nervous today. And I was, <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> Fire. But yeah, he said so many. He's made a lot of... I, I made a Notion page for it, so now I have... Um, oh, I God. To, I need to publish it, yeah, but he has a lot of, like, just generally, like, kind of unhinged statements, just saying things like Beyonce sounds satanic. Um, we have this new porn scandal, the abortion thing, obviously, the homophobic comments, um, the Ashley Madison... <laughs> Ashley Madison thing as well now. You should email his campaign and see if you can get a comment. That, that would be hard. Uh, Apparently, they're not responding to comment on a lot of the ca- campaign finance stuff or the or this new stuff. I don't think, but yeah. So I, I mean, he he that... did he made that one Twitter video, yeah, where yeah, he, um, yeah. So <laughs> I also saw there have was a you post. read anything about the daycare scandal? Oh God, there's more. <laughs> yeah, you haven't seen it. So Josh Stein has this ad about it. The ad I think has like two misleading statements in it, but basically. Prior, um, prior to becoming governor or anything, him and his wife ran a daycare center, um, which <laughs> during multiple inspections had uh, unsafe conditions for the children. So in 2005, uh, one and two year olds are not being supervised. There was a case of a um, uh, of one. It doesn't mention whether they were one or two years old of so one child just sitting on the porch talking to visitors instead of in the room with the rest of the children, not being supervised. That's crazy. They were uncovered electrical outlets around one year one year old children um there was a complaint that was never verified this was just a complaint sent um that claimed that the the daycare had been using the oven for heating as the gas had been cut cut off for a period of time and that the lights had been cut off several times and it's unknown if the daycare has running water (laughs) this and then also they falsified staff credentials and criminal background checks so Files for the owner, which is his wife and a husband, which is him, uh, contain North Carolina early childhood credential certificates uh, when the workforce unit of the Division of Child Development did not have records of having issued credentials. <laughs> so they just falsified these records. They literally did oh, a fucking, nice. they pulled a fucking Trump fake electors and just just said that they were qualified when they weren't. And then I don't also, know how much more this I can take. <laughs> Jesus. Criminal, record, uh, criminal records qualifying letters on file for the owners and the husband of the owner. Uh, or criminal records are on file. Criminal records qualifying letters. The criminal records unit of the division did not have a record of ever having received criminal records forms nor issue qualifying letters for the owner or the owner's husband. So they just lied about that too. They just wrote their own fucking letter saying that they were, they were chill and they could have not been. Um, 
Yeah. I know, this daycare. I know you wouldn't. I know you wouldn't know this, but did you by any chance like have any knowledge of the Republican primary? Because how the fuck did he make it? I don't know. I don't know. He had yeah. He won <laughs> super. He won like um, a sixty-five percent majority even in a three-way race. Like yeah, I don't know. I I don't know how he how he got this far. So I I DM'd you about this earlier, but um. <laughs> So I think in two, th I think it was in two thousand three. Basically, the day their daycare center went bankrupt, and they had a lot of trouble doing a lot of things. One thing that they had trouble with was apparently paying the Girl Scouts <laughs> over two thousand dollars that they that they had owed them. So the Girl Scouts sued, and they won because nobody nobody showed up on behalf of the defendant. Nobody showed up on behalf of. <laughs> That's even. I knew the part that they lost. I didn't know that part. That's yeah. really funny. They didn't. They didn't even show up. Okay. So yeah, that's the same the year that they take care. Yeah, I know. That's the same year there. They declared bankruptcy for like the fourth time. <laughs> they have declared bankruptcy a lot, which is why they have so much. Tr which is why they had so much trouble paying see why taxes. Trump liked them. Yeah. So for for nine from nineteen ninety eight, uh, for five consecutive years after that, they did not pay. Federal, federal income taxes. <laughs> they had, they eventually, in 2003, they did ultimately file their back taxes and paid them. However, um, they did also have five unpaid bills from 2006 to 2018 as of, I think this was an interview taken in 2018. Um, yeah, as, as of 2018. And he did a, he did end up paying them. But um, <laughs> yeah, he, he, he's not very good at paying his taxes. <laughs> Federal or or local, um, he did, however, really like using campaign fi campaign money for <laughs> personal personal uh, uses, allegedly. So he's under investigation. I told you for the alleged five hundred thousand dollars in violations. Uh, so during twenty twenty, this is what he's under investigation for. The investigation is still ongoing. He claimed to have spent $2,374 at Lake Outfitters for campaign clothes and accessories, but the owners said that purchase never happened. He also made two cash withdrawals from his campaign, one for $2,400 and the other for $160, when North Carolina state law basically says you can't, you can't um, pay for non-media expenses greater than $50 in cash. And... That money appears to have been made to the um, state employees credit union where Robinson was paying off a loan at the time. <laughs> Jesus. So he's, yeah. And then a $4,500 reimbursement to his wife for campaign apparel. More than $25, 25 expenditures without a listed purpose. More than 1,400 contributions greater than $50 that did not include a donor's occupation. At least 15 contributions greater than 15 contributions greater than $100 that do not include the donor's address. Three contributions greater than the, the uh, than the limit of $5,400 per donor. Several contributions from federal PACs that were not registered to make contributions in North Carolina, and a series of $4,000 contributions from family members of Hog Baron Wendell Murphy. Uh, senior on the same day, which Hall could potentially, uh, Hall said could potentially constitute an illegal use of business funds. So, <laughs> all those things he's practice. under, they haven't they haven't <laughs> proved all all of that yet. But uh, like he's under investigation uh, so for all of that. There's a chance. There's a. I mean, <laughs> the, <laughs> when you have this many allegations against you, okay, I'm like some of them have to be have to be true. <laughs> So he's being investigated for that. Do you know anything about his wife's charity or nonprofit? Oh, God, no. But I feel like this is about to go down a whole other rabbit hole. Okay, so after their failed daycare went bankrupt, their child endangering daycare went bankrupt. Yeah, of course. Apparently his wife, his wife made a nonprofit called Balanced Nutrition, which basically it helps like it helps like daycare facilities, uh, presumably better ones access a lot of like federal <laughs> federal aid which is um yeah just federally funded meals oh, for children that seems like a good profit i mean yeah. good idea sure and robinson worked there um before becoming lieutenant governor okay so the d um as a non-profit you're like subject to yearly reviews from the government so the department north carolina department of health or whatever the dhhs I forget what the second h stands for <laughs> they allege that balance they say that the um or it's not they say, 
they they declared this. This is, is like it's binding. <laughs> they owe the state one hundred thirty two thousand dollars after Jesus. a twenty twenty three to twenty twenty four review. Uh, outlined specific uh, deficiencies found, some of which were repeat issues from their 2022 to 2023 review. <laughs> so they apparently repeatedly had a fa- failure to keep attendance records, a lack of income eligibility records, failure to comply with training, failure to file meals that meet the program criteria, among other things. There are also two Paycheck Protection Program loans that Hill, which is Mark Robinson's wife who owned a charity, took out in 2021 and 2022, totaling, totaling $57,000, which were eventually, they were eventually forgiven. The federal program was intended to bail out businesses struggling during the pandemic, but records show that Hill gave herself a $28,000 raise in 2020, almost the exact amount of her first PPP loan. And from 2019 to 2021, Balanced Nutrition's revenue rose from 950000 to more than $1.3 million. <laughs> So hmm. their business probably wasn't really struggling. And also she gave herself a fucking raise with the money. Yeah, the raise is crazy. <laughs> in 2021 and 2022, Balanced Nutrition's tax filings failed to list the salaries of its top employees, including Hill. The nonprofit's tax revenue also did not, did not acknowledge that family members were key employees as required by federal guidelines. So she was taking money from the federal government in terms of, which is, um, I mean, that's the whole purpose is to take, take money from the federal government and give it to, like, daycare facilities and money from PPP loans to give herself and her family fucking raises. Like, <laughs> that's absurd. Um, oh, and also, she re- she needs permission to hire relatives, but she did not do so until 2023, even though her adult son, mother, and Robinson had previously worked for her. So, <laughs> she's not getting permission to hire these family members that she's then paying with fucking PPP loans. Like, Oh, of course. Yeah, and um, she. How she are they her, still going? Is my question. I'm pretty sure Balanced Nutrition. I think it's shut down. I don't know. I don't know for sure. Okay. Um. Oh wait, no, Please it's still tell around. Me it is. Oh. Yay. Is it still headed by? I don't know if it's still headed by her. Uh, I can check, but yeah, it, it's insane. This guy should resign. He should probably should have resigned fucking three years ago, but like there like there's no argument for him not resigning. He's clearly fucking insane. He should resign. I don't I don't understand how he's not I don't understand how he's still not only has he not withdrawn, or sorry, not only has he not resigned, he won't even withdraw. He won't even withdraw. Well like This has made me this is a good question. Like can the party not do something? Like, is it only him who can kick himself out? I like the party can put I feel like it's Biden all over again. <laughs> yeah, I I don't know. I don't know exactly how it works cuz it's like a state party. Um but also the state party I'm pretty sure does receive money from the from like the the national party. So like yeah, the that's... national party, I don't think the national party technically has any control over the state party. It's just that they can like put pressure and saying, "Hey, we might not spend fucking money if you don't get the guy off the ballot." I would imagine there's might be some process for the state party to do something, but like it, it would, I don't know, it would require stuff that they can't do. Apparently, the withdrawal deadline is tonight. Um, so. Oh yeah, we're not gonna see it then. Yeah. I don't think we will. If they did would withdraw, would they have enough time to put someone else up? Yeah, they would. They would be able to put someone else up, but. Okay. Um, but it might be complicated to get his name off of the ballot. His name might still be on the ballot. That would be really funny. It would be funny. Yeah, there could there could be two Republican candidates on the ballot. Martin Luther King Jr. the th- I'm sorry, Martin Luther King the third has just released a statement about Mark Robinson. <laughs> Dude, oh God. what's funny? Trump called him. I don't know if you've seen a clip of Trump calling him like Martin Luther King Jr. on steroids. Like he steroids. Like, I sent you that. Yeah. 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 That it's Mark crazy. Robinson is against the Civil Rights Act. He said that the Civil Rights Act took away freedom. Like he's like literally the most like anti like fucking Martin Luther King Jr. figure that I could that I could imagine. Like <laughs> what? He's literally like posting about how much he loves the KKK and about in, in that was and has oh publicly God. said like in podcast interviews that he's against the Civil Rights Act. Like it's it's not even just these weird unhinged comments on on porn sites. It's also like public statements in podcasts like. Uh, absolutely unhinged. <laughs> yeah, it's wild. 
Yeah, the deadline for a candidate to withdraw is Thursday. To withdraw a candidate must submit a written, written request to North Carolina State Board of Elections before midnight on Thursday. If he were to drop out the exe ex uh, executive committee of the Republican North Carolina Republican Party would select a replacement candidate. But I, I don't know if his name could get it. I don't know if he can get his name off the ballot. The state board of electors elections would determine whether it was practical to reprint the ballots with replacement nominees name according to state law. Yeah. So <laughs> there was um I don't know if you know this when RFK sued to get his name off of the ballot. It was past the date that you could get your name off of the ballot. But the North yeah. Carolina Supreme Court basically determined that you got to fucking take his name off the ballot. Um, <laughs> so RFK got his name off the ballot. So it might be possible. Uh, in a recently run court case seeking to have the board reprint balance for absentee voters after RFK Jr. dropped out of presidential race, should Mr. Robinson leave in a race and his name remain on the ballot, all votes cast for him would automatically be considered votes for whomever the party chooses to replace him. Okay. Yeah, I noticed that like... He's like, I don't know if you've seen this with ROK, but he's like systematically deciding every state. Like he's suing to keep his name on some yeah. states and suing his name to keep his name off. And it's literally yep. just whether or not it helps Trump. Or it not. helps it's Trump. It's crazy. Yeah. Listen, I loved a man because he was against a two party and now he's the most like two party <laughs> puppet. It's actually yeah, insane. I, know. I will, I will come here and say it now. I do concede. Okay. The, he is not the man I thought he was. Um, <laughs> You, I'm not saying you are right, <laughs> but it, it but it does mean that you in fact were. Um, I'm coming back with tail tucked between my legs to the Democratic Party, hoping you guys will accept me. <laughs> yeah, you know, I also <laughs> found out that Republicans are suing to keep Jill Stein on some ballots. Yeah, they're like financing. Yeah, I've seen yeah. that. We have this a, a new quote from Mark Robinson. Oh God, a second, a second plane has hit the towers. <laughs> Had me another hot morning with the wife's sister. She had brought along oh, her yeah. laptop this time, and we had watched some vids on there. Nah, the ones that really got us hot was called Wet Anal. That vid got our pussy soaking wet, and y'all know what I did right. That ass was wet, slick, good, and pissy. <laughs> do you think he meant pussy, or did he actually mean pissy? I have to hope, right? I hope he meant pussy. That ass was wet, slick, good, and pissy, and I licked and sucked that pussy and asshole till my face was covered with her funky juices. Then she sucked my dick <laughs> till it was Jesus. good, good and hard, and then and lubed it down with wet. Lubed it down with wet? What does that even mean? With her... What in the WAP hat is going on? <laughs> Then she laid back while I greased that asshole with her pussy juices and wet. <laughs> Watching my big dick slide in and out of that asshole takes my breath away. It was it looks so good. We ads fuck a lot, but she gave me a nasty sex surprise this time. Right when I was ready, <laughs> really pumping the dookie shoot, bro, the dookie shoot. <laughs> good, she got a long. A long hot stream of piss in the air. So he did mean piss. He was pumping the dookie shoot good and she got a long hot stream of piss up in the air. That covered my chest and stomach. It was so fucking hot. She was coming, I was coming. She was pissing and I was covered in piss. And the pussy juice in a loop. Damn. This girl is good. I can't wait. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, no shot. That this okay. On the one hand, I would be like, this dude just admitted to cheating on his wife. On the other hand, this sounds like a thirteen year old making up a story. Uh, like That's <laughs> what I thought when I read the three way one. He was like three way with his wife's sister. And I was like, This sounds like a she goes to another school type of story. I know, yeah, it's, it's this is um Oh my god. Oh, uh, how, how, how? I'd be governor, by the way. I know, yes, like... I can't wait till we get a fucking... anal and piss fetish enjoyer in the office. We really did need more anal representation in <laughs> the office. <laughs> oh, man.